happy morning children welcome back to our english session children today we are going to learn a short moral story wisdom is more useful than strength taakat se zyada zaruri hoshiyari hoti hai a man was walking through an elephant camp he spotted that the elephant were not held by chains or kept in cages all that was holding them back from escaping the camp was a small piece of rope tied to one of their legs the man was completely confused as to why the elephants didn't just use their strength to break the rope and escape the camp curious and wanting to know the answer he asked a trainer nearby why the elephants were just standing there and never tried to escape the trainer then replied when they were small we used to tie them from rope as they grew up they made up their mind and believe that they cannot break away they believe the rope can still hold them so they never try to break free children intelligence is more important than strength that is why earth is ruled by men and not by animals children i hope you all have understood about our today's lesson yes lesson number 27 the dreadful guest Let's take a summary of this lesson. Once upon a time, king of Russia decided to hold a grand feast, so he invited all the princes, rich merchant, brave warriors, and all important people in his kingdom. Party started. All were enjoying and happy to meet each other. All of a sudden, a horrible-looking and very dangerous dragon came into the hall where party was going on. so all the people were afraid and trembling with fear but the brave warrior ivan was not afraid of him as soon as the servants started serving the food to king and queen the dragon started eating the food hurriedly now seeing this ivan got very angry and called him for a fight all the people were very afraid but ivan was a brave warrior and he knew that he could defeat the dragon children moral of this lesson is trick is better than strength now open your test book lesson number 27 the dreadful guest children what is the meaning of dreadful yes it means unpleasant so when an unpleasant guest all of a sudden comes to your house to visit you what happens i'll read and explain you the lesson so please pay attention Once upon a time the king of Russia decided to hold a grand feast he invited princes rich merchants brave warriors and all the important people in his kingdom on the night of the feast the king and his guests sat together at a long table in the banquet hall they talked and laughed and everyone was very happy right underline feast feast means a large meal for many people on a special occasion underline warrior warrior means a person who fights in a battle a soldier suddenly a huge animal burst into the hall it was a horrible looking dragon it was as tall as tree as broad as a house with teeth like spikes and claws like knives his skin was hard and scaly and his eyes red red hot flames shot forth from his mouth and black smoke from his nostrils now this dragon was a very mean creature he loved to be a spoil sport and a kill joy he walked straight to the head of the table and pushed himself between the king and the queen everyone stopped talking everyone was scared well not everyone the brave warrior ivan was not afraid of dragons What a rude him polite creature you are he said angrily children this paragraph tells us that a huge horrible dragon means a large monster an imaginary creature often represented with wings a long tail and fire coming out from his mouth burst into the hall children underline spoil sport spoil sport means a person who tries to stop other people enjoying themselves underline kill joy Killjoy also means the same a person who likes to spoil other people's enjoyment. Start with the next paragraph. Just then the servants brought in the food and set the platters on the table. But before they had a chance to serve the food to the king and the queen and the guest, 
the dragon began to gobble up everything the king and the queen did not know what to do nobody could stop the dragon but ivan spoke up again nobody have ever taught you any manners i can see he said i hope you choke on the food you are gobbling up so greedily children in this paragraph we understand when the servants brought food and set the platters the dragon started eating food in hurry the king and the queen did not knew what to do because they were very afraid no one can stop him but ivan he was a brave warrior he said angrily to the dragon why are you eating so fast you don't have any manners and hope you will choke up the food as he was eating very quickly underline platters platters means a large plate used to serve food underline choke choke means food gets stuck into the throat underline gobble up gobble up means to eat a large amount of food quickly now next paragraph children now this was more than a dragon could stand he puffed out fire and sprang to his feet i dare you to come out and fight with me ivan he roared are you ready of course said ivan what have you done ivan said the king let's put up the dragon for some more time you cannot fight a dragon it will burn and kill you in no time but ivan was not afraid he knew that dragons were dreadful but not intelligent he was sure he could find a way of killing the dragon children here in this paragraph we come to know that dragon could not take off this insult and he puffed out fire puffed out fire means short amount of air or smoke blown out and sprang sprang means jumped up suddenly to ivan's feet and set to fight with him ivan agreed but the king said to him let's put up with the dragon means adjust with the dragon bad behavior for some more time otherwise the dragon will brush and kill you in no time we'll begin with the next paragraph everyone walked out to the palace courtyard the dragon and the brave warrior faced each other the dragon smiled a very mean and wicked smile now how shall i kill you you silly fool he said ivan shall i but you to death shall i smother you with fumes or better still shall i tear you up with knife claws or shall i eat you up with my spike teeth children underline wicked smile silly fool and knife claws spike teeth means no kile dat children in this paragraph we come to know that ivan accepted the challenge of the dragon to defeat him and everyone went out of the palace courtyard dragon and ivan faced each other dragon thought ivan is very weak so he tried to frighten ivan by his teeth and his claws and asked ivan that how would i kill you now next paragraph children in the meanwhile however clever ivan had thought of a way of tricking the wicked creature he folded his arms on his chest and said in a clear voice now look here dragon when you dared me to fight you i readily agreed I thought it would be a fight between just two of us. Then he pointed behind the dragon. Why have you brought a whole army to help you fight? The dragon was as stupid as Ivan thought him to be. He turned his head to see what Ivan was pointing at. Quick as a flash of lightning, Ivan drew his sword and cut off the dragon's head. There, he said, we won't have to put up the dreadful guest ever again. children ivan was a very clever man he knew that dragon is horrible but he has no brain to think as we all know animals cannot use their brains like us so he decided to trick the creature and made the dragon turn his head and quickly drew out a sword and cut off the dragon's head then ivan said we won't have to foot up this dreadful guest ever again children i hope you all have enjoyed and understood the lesson Moral of the story is intelligence is more important than strength that is why earth is ruled by men and not by animals thank you